Hi, wanted to tell you about my newest painting. This is for the show I'm going to have starting February 10th, 2010, down in Madison, Indiana. It's a very charming little town on the banks of the Ohio River, just across the river from Kentucky. And it's a, it's a wonderful little historic town that was settled in the early 1800s, probably around 1820, and has a lot of historic buildings. It's a great tourist site, but uh, I'm doing a show down, down there and uh, featuring scenes from Madison. This particular scene is uh, a, a view that you would see if you went up on top of a hill on the east end of the town of Madison. Okay, now, if you look here, this is a bluff on the other side of the Ohio River. What I have here is the morning fog or mist that comes up off of the river and then looking out into the town. Now, what I have tried to capture in this painting is what the, what it looks like when the morning sun just starts to rise and just hits things. So uh, you can see the sunrise coming in here, the sun shining brightly on, for example, this building and on the edges of the trees and so forth. It's supposed to give you that early morning sunlit look. So uh, some of the things that I'll talk to you about here for a moment, uh, we have different uh, effects uh, basically having to do with atmospheric perspective. Atmospheric perspective gives depth to a painting. Uh, there are two types of perspective. One is linear perspective. And linear perspective, uh, I don't really see that much in this painting, possibly here. See this line going up this way. And a linear perspective would be if it went up kind of this way, like a road. You look at the road and it's wider close to you and goes narrower. But we have all these trees in the way, so you can't really see that specifically. I do have the road down here below, but uh, you have things hanging over the edge here, so you can't see it narrow as it goes up, and then we have the edge here. The other type, of course, is atmospheric perspective. Now, with atmospheric perspective, there are certain things that make it work. Like one, you have things like this house right here, the building, is, is bigger than, say, this building here, or this building here. It's put larger on the canvas which makes it feel like it's closer to those things. And the other thing with atmospheric perspective is that the colors are brighter and stronger and warmer than the colors in the distance. So for example, you see this real bright color on this house, real bright color on these trees, but as you go further off into the distance, like into here, they kind of fade. And the warmer colors tend to uh, fade and go bluer the further back they go. So uh, that's one thing. So these trees here look closer than, say, these trees back here, just because of the brighter colors and so forth. And the other thing with atmospheric perspective, the things that are closer are done with much more detail than the things further back. So you have these windows that you can see specifically, but then you get back into these buildings back there. I haven't got any detail on those, and, and that gives a, an impression of this stuff being closer than this in the background. Look at the detail on these windows here, and then on here there's really not that detail. Now, like I said with the trees, a lot of detail here, but back here on the Kentucky Bluffs, it's just sort of a, a hint of them, and it's kind of blued back. What I want to do next is just talk to you a little bit about some of my techniques. First of all, when I do a painting, I, I, uh, 
I kind of draw in the basic shapes that I can see and I draw in the colors that I can see. Now, when I first did this, I had this color that went right in through here and up into here and it was all dark, almost black. So I just painted that all in, in that color. And some of this back in here was all the same color. So I didn't do individual items on that part, but I kind of blocked in a similar color. So I had this color kind of blocked in, I had this blocked in, the sky was blocked in. And then after I had that in, then I went back and put over the top of it things like these leaves. I'm going to uh, go close up and show you some of the things that I've done on Okay, so if you look at the bottom there, here's that area that I did all dark. All of this over into here and it went over into here. But can you see, I just splashed some color on there to show some red leaves and put some other leaf colors on top. Oh, and of course my name, so you know that I actually painted it. Now uh, I want you to look at this tree right here that's close up. Can you see I've... It was basically green and I just splashed some color on it. But then if you go to the ones in the back, then right back there, there's not a lot of detail on there. And then when I go up to the bluff, can you see? It's just kind of blue and a little bit of color back there to give you the feeling that there's some trees. Now we can take a look at buildings. Here's a church steeple right there. And then as we go over further, there's another building. There's not a lot of detail to it. It's further back. Now as we come in closer, here's a building. It's a little bit more detailed. Here's a house and some roofs. Not a lot of detail, but there's supposed to be some windows. And as we come in closer, here's a building. You can see windows and doors. Chimneys on the roofs. We have a closer building. You can see the roof. So you can see that the closer you get, the more detailed you get, and the more specific color and, and so forth. Here's the, the road. You can look up the road to the top. And there's some buildings back there. So I hope you've liked looking at my new painting. I've entitled this Madison Sunrise with the sun coming up, shining brightly down there in the early morning with the mist coming up from the river. And this will be one of the pieces in my show at Joey G's in Madison, Indiana, starting the 10th February going till the 9th of March. Have a good day.